Hey there. Today, we're playing Lone Echo. This game has been out since 2017. This is gonna be a long one, so grab your snacks and let's enjoy the ride together. Hera, open a new voice log entry. Acknowledged. Recording. Okay. This is Captain Liv Rhodes, personal log entry for 7 of October 2126. This will be my final week aboard Kronos 2. In just a few days, I'll be leaving Saturn behind and making my way to my new assignment on Ceres. A bit odd, actually, saying it out loud. Anyway, all mining sites are running smoothly. Overnight harvest totals are a bit lower than I'd like. Oh, we had some sputtering on the number 12 RCS thruster, but Jack and I managed. Oh, Jack. Good. Hold on a tick. Hera, pause recording. Acknowledged, Captain Rose. Hi. Morning, sunshine. Good morning. How are we feeling today? Hey. What was all that about? <laughs> Hera, let's go ahead and run Jack's calibration program. Acknowledged. Right. In you go, Jack. I'll see you in a few. Bye. Module D221. Manual dexterity. Okie dokie. I am Hera, Central AI for the Kronos 2 Orbital Mining Facility. I will guide you through this calibration program. Cool. First, close your hand to form a fist. I really like this HUD. Now extend your index finger. Good. To proceed, use your index finger to press the hollow button in front of you. Now reach out and grab Ooh. the glowing disc that just appeared. When Oops. you are ready, throw the disc wow. into the goal in front of you. That Target was awful. Missed. Press the hollow button to recall the disc. There we go. That's Target cool. Target hit. Excellent throw. Why are we like Calibration module off center. complete. There Please stand by. I like this HUD, by the way. Module M101. Basic motor functions. Please pull the handle above you to exit the activation pod. This labor unit will guide you through the module. Now carefully follow it by pulling yourself through the environment using any solid surface. Oh, I'm supposed to follow you? Oops. There we go. And Please away. follow the labor Oops. unit to proceed. Please take your time and follow the guide. Okay. Ah! Follow the guide. Now carefully pull yourself forward and release to glide Whee! to the exit oh! calibration module complete. Ouch. Module M205. Maneuvering thrusters. Thrusters. Your hands are equipped with maneuvering thrusters, allowing you to move more freely in zero gravity. Activate left thruster. Activate Ooh. right thruster. Oh, that's cool. Now please exit the activation pod and use your maneuvering thrusters to reach the door ahead. Thrusters can be used in short bursts oh, or neat. held down for continuous usage. And please press the hollow button there near we the go. door to proceed. Good. Now navigate the environment using only your maneuvering thrusters. Do not oh. grab any surfaces during this test. Okay, boss. Any second now. Thruster calibration at 50%. This is really cool. 
This kind of looks like the starports of Elite Dangerous. Calibration module complete. Cool. Module C-111. Communication. Okay. We will now calibrate your communication system. When someone speaks to you, a reply notification may appear above your wrist. You may then respond by holding down the dialog button on either hand and selecting a reply with your index finger. Hold down the dialog button now. Input confirmed. Now hold down the dialog button and select a reply. Ooh. Like this. Correct. Vocal selection acknowledged. Often nice. you will have a limited time to select a reply. In these cases, silence is considered a viable option. Do you understand? Acknowledged. I'm ready to proceed. Understood. Continuing calibration. Now exit the activation pod and move into the room ahead. All right. You can also initiate conversations Oops. at points of interest throughout the can world. Go through the level? If you look at certain people or objects while you are close to them, their name will appear, and Guess an icon am. will indicate that you can use the dialogue button. You may then hold down the dialogue button and select an option, just like a reply. Now start a conversation with the labor unit, and speak about the Fury transport model in this room. Unit 42, what is your primary directive? To assure the safety and well-being of Kronos 2 station personnel. What's this? What is your secondary directive? Preserving the integrity of Atlas Corporation property and equipment. Okay. So Please talk about the two points of interest in the room to continue. Is this a gun? What is this? A Mark I Fury transport. Ew. 148th scale. Be advised. While real Fury transports can be used to travel to distant locations across the Kronos 2 station, I do not recommend attempting to ride this one. Noted. Okay. Communication system fully calibrated. Would you like to proceed to the next module? C. I'm ready to proceed. Acknowledged. Please stand by. Yes. That was cool. Module A-131. Data scanner. Data scanner. Error. Whoa. Calibration program failure. Stand by for reboot. What? The directors have been pushing to make fully automated deep space mine the government's still priority. Your echo unit is a perfect subject for our initial test runs. This is crap. I'm one week from leaving and you're just now telling me Jack's not coming. <sighs> Command wants the echo unit to assume your duties when you leave for series. Well, how long has Command known about this? Liv, uh, I don't think... How long? Higher-ups have been discussing it for... Maybe six months. Six months? But the final decision didn't come down until late last week. No, forget it. This is unacceptable. Command's not really asking for your approval here. Tell Command to look at our numbers. Look at our harvest totals, purity levels. Our efficiency rating jumps three points every quarter. Command wants to see numbers like that on series? I need Jack with me. <sighs> Still calling him Jack, huh? Well, what else would I call him? Look, I get it. You've been working with that particular unit a while. Okay, I see where this is going. But it's a machine. It doesn't actually care about you. Whatever attachment you think you have with it isn't real. It's all just out. Jack? Sorry, oh. I have to go. Kronos 2 out. Whoops. Hey. Jack? What happened? Not much. Whoops. Uh, My calibration program crashed. I appear to be stuck in the activation pod. That's odd. Your diagnostic programs never just flat out crashed before. It must have suspended the pod's release procedures. In the event of activation pod failure, Titan Protocol recommends performing a complete power cycle of the pod, followed by a level 3 inspection of... What? You're fat. 
Wait, what? You didn't finish your dialogue. That was weird. Listen, about my conversation with Command, how much did you overhear? Uh, not, not much. much. Well, okay. I'm, I'm just gonna put it out there. You're no longer coming with me to Ceres. What? What do you mean? The directors want you to take over my duties as commander of the station. It'll just be you and the labor units. Oh. The humans. So this is our last week together. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look, I... They just... hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, come on, splitting us up. I, I never even considered it a possibility. I'm not entirely sure what to say except i'm sorry jack there's no need to apologize olivia while the situation is unfortunate it's not your fault come on then no sense putting it off let's get our last week started okay why don't you go activate the bridge while i pull the overnights Copy that. Ooh, we gotta activate the bridge, huh? But I wanna check that out. Swear monkey. Your swear count is not increased for nearly ten hours. Congratulations. Oh, quit playing with that damn thing. I mean, <laughs> shit. Never mind. Okay. We're standing up now. I want to sit down. I'll do that later. Aha! Bulldog. Why do you find these creatures appealing? Bulldogs are a symbol of the British spirit. We don't want to know when the odds are against us. Ah. Sounds familiar. Well, shut up, Jack. That looks a lot like... You know, Elite Dangerous again. This model is meant to depict an S8 labor unit, is it not? That's right. Why? Is something wrong with it? It is highly inaccurate. That's sort of the joke, Jack. <laughs> I failed to find the humor in erroneous proportions. I want Course peanuts. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't have any. Okay, so I gotta look at it. Liv, if you keep consuming this snack food, you risk getting a cavity. Oh, I can't help it. They're the only thing edible up here. I could dispose of them if you like. Don't you dare. This is cool. The Kronos 2 station has been in operation for over five years. Liv has been its longest tenured captain. Wow. 2121. Well, good to say we're almost out of 2020. Batter up. You seem... Upset. You're getting way too good at reading human responses, you know that. Well, I have had a few years of practice. Yeah. It shows. Ouch. Alright, let's get to this bridge. Hera. Good morning, Hera. Good morning, Echo One. Hi. Status report? All systems nominal. Facility mining operations are on track to exceed its quarterly quota by 43%. Hera, I have a question. Echo 1, proceed with inquiry. Hera, do you have any details on Olivia's transfer? My records indicate that Captain Olivia Rhodes is scheduled to take command of an Atlas Corporation facility on Ceres, and has been promoted by one grade. This transfer was scheduled 187 days ago but was only declassified nine days ago. All right. Is that all? That's it. Jack, where are you going? Checking out your to stuff. Activate the bridge at the front of the ship. Right, just give me a moment. Fortunately, this backup echo unit appears to be functional. I can transfer to it if necessary. All right, where is the bridge? Was it at the front there? I guess so. No! Alright, let's go back. Hey, catch. 
<laughs> oh, I'm such a jerk. There we go. That was the bridge. I'm an idiot. Wait. The score. 23 to 11. It would appear I'm going to win. Again. Now hold on. I've still got seven days. Plenty of time to stage my oh. comeback. Considering the significant difference between our two scores and given your win-loss record, I would estimate the odds of you staging an epic comeback are approximately 3,725 to 1. Okay. Wow, Jack, that is... That is just some of the worst trash talk I've ever heard. <laughs> would you like me to archive this list for you? That way we could remove this note. No thanks, I actually like a bit of clutter. Makes it feel more like home. I am well aware of this fact. Are you cool. calling me messy? Enjoy the view. Alright, ooh, dinosaurs! Hey! Don't China. think I can't hear that silent judgement, Jack. Are you going to leave these behind? I hadn't really thought about it. Why, do you want to keep them? And what purpose would I have for toy dinosaurs? Well, something to remember me by? You forget my memory is archived. I can remember you anytime I wish. This one's my favorite. Suit yourself. They won't be the same. I know it's Gina, but I always pronounce it as Gina. <laughs> Comedy. All right, here we go. The primary control panel. I can activate the bridge from here. If you enjoy this video, smash that like button. Right now. Transitioning to daytime cycle. Oh. I'm really going to miss this place. Oh, here's that thing. I'll get started on the morning checklist in a bit. Just give me wow. a moment to soak in this view. Take your time. That is cool. That is really cool. We do have an especially striking view of Saturn this morning. Almost like it's showing off. Do you happen to know what gives the planet its unique color? The upper atmosphere contains crystallized ammonia, which... I'm sorry, you wanted to answer your own question, didn't you? It's all right, Jack. I'm sure I'll survive. All right, Olivia. Command splitting us up. It... It bothers you. I just thought you'd be coming with me, is all. No assignment is ever permanent. I would think you'd know that better than anyone. Well, that's certainly true. It is entirely possible that we will work together again sometime in the future. Maybe. Here's hoping. So, Jack, I suppose congratulations are in order. For what? For your promotion. There's really no need for that. Come on now, it's a big deal. In a few days, you'll be Captain Jack. Sparrow? So, ah. congratulations, Captain Jack. What I mean is, as an Echo Unit, I hold no official rank. So, technically, I can't be promoted. Right. Well, that's too bad. Captain Jack has quite the ring to it. Also, you are the only person who calls me Jack. To everyone else, I am merely Echo One. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? I have no... What was that? Oh. Jack, did you feel that? Whoa. What the hell? Are we getting hacker manned? P please tell me you can see that. Oh, is that it? A fissure? Affirmative. I see it. Any idea what it is? I'm afraid not. There are no records of any such phenomenon in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. It is an anomaly. Whoa! Whoa! What the... Whoa. Jack, are you alright? That's the EMP, right? Well, short burst of it. I believe so. You were glitching out. The disturbance briefly disrupted my internal systems, but I'm not reading any permanent damage. Liv, it's possible that anomaly is not entirely stable. You think? 
Priority alert. The hollow table. Something's wrong. I'll investigate. Hera, status report. Multiple tier one malfunctions detected. Isolate and identify. Acknowledged. Isolating. Awaiting input. Saturn orbital zone beta. Orbital mining facility. Designation, Kronos 2. Ooh. Container field. Ooh. Ooh, ComSat station. Okay. Nice. Central mining station. So that's where we are. Whoa, nice. This is very Star Wars-y. Malfunctions isolated. That is a lot of red. Perhaps it's not as bad as it looks. Ground fault recorded in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Lockdown procedures in effect. Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. Uh, what, that's it? What? That's all we've got to go on. What happened to the Hera, dialogue? Here? Can you give us an in depth scan of each affected area? Negative. Unable to establish communication with cube satellites. Wait, we lost the cube sats? How the hell did we. Oh, forget it. Let's just have a look for ourselves. Where are you, you little bugger? Ah, here we are. <laughs> Jack, could you do us a favor and scan this CubeSat? I'll need to calibrate my scanner first. Stand by. It'll only be a moment. Awaiting manual input for calibration. Module A-131. Data go. scanner. That's the thing that glitched out in the beginning. Your scanning tool allows you to collect data on anything in the environment. Please exit the pod to begin calibrating it. Please follow me to the disk spawner at the back of the room. Now activate your scanner by pressing the button on top of your hand. Both of your hands have this functionality. Ooh. Good. Now aim the scanner at the I.O. port on the disk spawner and hold the trigger to initiate a scan. Hold the trigger. After scanning something, oh, you can its do that name too. will appear That's next bizarre. to your hand on the scanner's data tab. To Virtual see the results of your scan, grasp the tab and pull it away from your hand. Pull the data tab now. Wow! Excellent. Use the button on top of your hand to deactivate the scanner now. Good. To complete this module, gather scan data on five other materials or objects. Can you expand it? Nope. You must scan additional objects or materials to complete this calibration module. Four scans remaining. Oh. Am I supposed to scan other stuff? Three scans remaining. Initiating human sarcasm. <laughs> I thought we were friends, Echo One. Okay. One scan remaining. Okay, let's check out the pod. Did that not work? Calibration module complete. Please Jeez. stand by. Cool. Nice. All set? Scanner fully calibrated. Heads up. Give that CubeSat a scan. See if you can work out what's wrong with it. Yeah, once I get this closed. Alright. CubeSat offline. Do I have to keep scanning it? Yes, I think I do. Scan complete. Right. Well, what's the story? According to these readings, Something was disrupting the CubeSat's ability to communicate with the rest of the sensor network. Was? My scanner appears to have reset the CubeSat's transmitters and restored the connection. Oh well, problem solved. All you have to do is find and scan every last CubeSat we have scattered across the entire facility. 
Sounds like fun. Yeah, of course, it would to you. I'll send an right. objective to your arm computer, but consider it low priority for now. Objective received. Right then, on to the real problems. What wow. do you think? What's next? Hera, status update on your scan of the anomaly. Scan currently 3% complete. 3%? What's the problem? The sensor network is attempting to perform a full spectrum scan of an unknown entity. It might take a while. Lovely. Well, in the meantime, we've got three tier one malfunctions that need our attention. What do you say we get started on those repairs? Good idea. I'll need a okay. few minutes to pull today's command codes off my console. So you can just keep yourself occupied until the then, I'm sure. Of course. Chronos interior. Let's go to the interior.